Hey Space Lab, I'm Jake and welcome to Space Numero Quattro. Wise has spent the last two years mapping the entire sky to create the All Sky Catalog and Atlas. It collected more than 2.7 million images and captured over half a billion galaxies, stars, and asteroids. Let's keep looking at the stars and check out this massive photo showing our Milky Way and over 1 billion stars. Fun fact, this photo is actually made up of 6,000 individual photos that the Vista Telescope took. And good news for all of you that want to live in space, Wired Science has an article about 10 billion Earth-like planets that may exist in our galaxy. It's cool, but the closest ones are about 30 light years away. SPACE! Now to be able to live on a planet, not in a Total Recall-esque dome, but to actually be able to walk outside, there are a few key features that scientists and astronomers look for. The principal one being liquid water, and for there to be liquid water, a planet has to lie in the habitable zone. Simply put, the habitable zone is the area around a star where a planet can maintain liquid water on its surface. A prime example of this would be Earth in relation to our star, the Sun. If we were closer to the Sun, like Venus, our surface temperature would be 860 degrees Fahrenheit. Or if we went farther away from the Sun to where Saturn is, our surface temperature would be around minus 218 degrees Fahrenheit or similar in temperature to that of your ex-girlfriend's heart. But at least it isn't as bad as a tornado on the sun that is five times the size of Earth. Or as cool as these amazing photos of the Crab Nebula. Artist Mike Mitchell takes stunningly detailed photos of our moon using only a DSLR camera and a $200 telescope. But instead of looking at space, why not touch our galaxy and our planet? As always, everything we talked about is linked in the description below, so check it out. And I have a question for you. If at any point in our lifetime we could go to another planet and live there, would you and why? Leave a response in the comments below. Now last time I left you with a clip of Neil deGrasse Tyson, and this time I'm going to leave you with one of another great, Carl Sagan. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Our planet and our solar system are surrounded by a new world ocean, the depths of space. It is no more impassable than the last.